welcome this is the energy vibration for the Pisces Sun Moon and rising it is the last week of November 2017 this week of November as the energy vibration of the zodiac energies of the hurt and fire okay I want to say thank you to each and every person out there thank you for being here thank you for the success that you um, that you are doing and helping me um, this is so wonderful you Pisces I, I so love you guys thank you for the support and the likes and the shares okay please remember to listen to the Sun Moon and Rising Sun sorry I'm, 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 I'm sitting the whole day making these videos and I'm so full so um, let's look and see what's happening for you Pisces you have the energy vibration of the Knight of um, Pentacles the Knight of Pentacles and the Prince of Pentacles okay this is a what for you Pisces with the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles that you have to be dealing with in this week so a lot of you Pisces are going to have a situation with a Knight of Pentacles this could be children um, some of you could be dealing with these people as kids some of you could be dealing with this people at your work some of these people could be dealing with these people in different ways in your life the Knight of Pentacles uh, um, um, the Knight of Pentacles is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person then the prince of um and these people are between the ages of 18 and 40 okay so you are dealing with this some of these people are your family members some of these people are colleagues some of these people are friends whatever it is um these people are between the ages of 18 and 10. the knight of uh, the prince of sword is between the ages of 18 and 40 this is not a really nice person the knight of Pentacles is much nicer than this person be aware of who these people are in your life okay okay let's look at your reading to see what is happening I had to stop for a moment because I had the last reading for the Sagittarius and it is one of the most saddest reading I have ever done and people are very dishonest and cruel to each other let's go and see what you Pisces have to deal with wonderful day on Monday you have the nine of cups happiness and joy whoever this king of swords is whoever this uh, person is with an Aquarius a Libra or a Sagittarius or a general Ge Ge Gemini he is in the reverse form thank you finally um, you're finding some happiness in your life again okay the nine of Pentacles is um, the nine of cups is a very positive that means your wishes and dreams are coming true whoever this king of sword is is finally out of your life this could be a Gemini or um, an Aquarius or a Libra um, Monday you're feeling good you're feeling positive your wishes and dreams are coming true finally it's the end of this person you know the king of swords these people these swords people can be so you know challenging Tuesday you have the energy of the Sun you and the Capricorns have gotten the energy of the Sun on Tuesday so um, if you are partner up with a Capricorn person go and listen to their readings because they also have the energy of the Sun on Tuesday this is wonderful Tuesday good news six of ones good news is coming out for you Pisces on Tuesday the energy of the Sun and wonderful wonderful celebration and situation is about to happen for you thank God you got rid of the king of swords whoever he was as we move forward the wheel of fortune I never saw this isn't this wonderful for the Pisces they are having the Sun and the wheel of fortune to get up beside each other the wheel of fortune is bringing success is bringing happiness joy luck is coming to you whatever the situation is you're protected you are protected in all ways oh my god I didn't see this because it's the middle of the night and I'm still getting these readings off because I'm a little bit late 
and you have the sun and the wheel of fortune the capricorns had the wheel of fortune for their focus oh my god this is so positive this is so good this is a positive 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 situation that is going on wonderful week for you pisces um um as we, oh my god no i <laughs> I my god this is so 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 you Pisces oh my god this is so perfect this is so wonderful you have the energy vibration of the world so you have the Sun the wheel of fortune on the world you have the nine of cups on Monday your week can never ever ever go bad oh my god happiness and joy on Monday nine of cups celebration Tuesday, the energy of the sun with glory. Oh my God, you Pisces. And then in the middle of the week, you have the wheel of fortune, which is a positive week. It's a lucky week for you, Pisces. And on Thursday, you have the energy of the world and you are no longer in the resting period. You are standing up and you're making things work for you. Oh my God. This week for you, Pisces, cannot be cannot be you know this is so powerful <laughs> monday to thursday is going to be extremely extremely good on friday you have the energy of the two of pentacles you're balancing out situation and you are going on a new journey so this is positive of course after all of this you're you're um you're changing your own energy vibration and this good things are about to happen to you you are going to be success is going to come at you success happiness joy whatever monday to the thursday oh my god friday um the energy of the two of pentacles is here and you are going on a new journey so most of you maybe will be traveling um soon because on friday you're thinking um, you're balancing out your financial situation and you're going on a new journey. Isn't this wonderful? Um, on Saturday, you have a situation with uh, um, the emperor. And this could be someone, your boss or that sort of a, um, a situation. You need to have balance with this person. It could be a situation if you're traveling, you could have situation in the airport and that sort of a thing but there is no absolutely no um no because the emperor is in reverse okay uh, you're you're having balance and the emperor is in reverse whatsoever is here happening um the energy of the emperor is in reverse so whatever power and <coughs> sorry authority situation that you have it is in reverse so you're having temperance and balance. It's going to be a good day on Saturday. Whatever that has transpired, it's going to be a wonderful week. On Sunday, you have the energy of the Queen of Wands and the energy of the Three of Wands. It is fate. So some of you will be dealing with someone is the Queen of Wands. That can be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Okay? And... Um, whoever this person is on Sunday you're going to be um, connecting with this person you're going to be seeing this person it's as if you are on vacation you came back and you are going to be connecting with this person whoever this Queen of Wands is um, there is um, a connection between you and this person the three of Wands is here you're going to be connecting you both are going to be um, it's as if you two know each other and you went away on vacation and that sort of a thing and you come back and you're going to be connecting with her so whatever that is all about be careful because if you are in another relationship and you're with this person it's about to happen and it's going to come out so be aware and you know know that i know what is happening because Whoever this person is, because it's not showing up as it's not showing up as is your partner or so. It's showing up as if you're seeing this person. This person is in another relationship, and it could be with a Prince of Swords or 
the night of Pentacles. So whatever you do, if you're in a relationship and let's say you were on a business trip or whatever and you went home, because this is not really showing up and I'm going to find out who is this queen of wands and who is this person? Because this person is an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius and apparently you both have been seeing each other. Um, be careful of what is going on, you Pisces, because um, this queen of wands, because you're having an affair with this queen of wands. Let's see what is happening. Oh, yeah. Got it. Um, some of you are having an affair with this queen of wands and some of you is your wife. So let's say that you are married to this queen of wands or you have a relationship with this queen of wands. You're coming back home. Um, some are, of you are having a relationship with this queen of wands. Anyway, be careful because there's somebody else that she is seeing. And if it's your wife, she's having an affair with a Prince of Sword or the Knight of Pentacles, who is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. This Prince of Sword, if he knows about this relationship, he's going to, you know, really uh, mess you up. So be aware of this. Okay. Um, what a week. What a week. It is a wonderful, positive week, but whoever you are, and if you're cheating, um, it's going to come out. That is going to come out in 2018, so be aware of this. For the rest, you have a wonderful, positive week. Let's ask and see what is going on here. Let's ask and see what is going on here. Answer, there is something better there is something better okay so if you are partnering up with um a fish um a pisces or a if you're partnered up with a pisces and you realize that this person is seeing someone else let him go because there's something better oh you are a pisces <laughs> if you're partnering up with uh, this woman who is the queen of wands you know there's something better and um, apparently you really liked her and wanted her to be a part of your life. It can work out for some people, but I'm telling you this, if you're in a relationship and you're playing these two people or you're playing one of them, um, you're going to lose. Okay. You are really going to lose. Okay. Let's look and see what the conscious spirit has for us and it is integrity <laughs> integrity i combine my body mind and soul to lift all the hum the humanity into new dimension isn't this wonderful okay the thing about it why i'm laughing about this reading is that um you know it's so crazy it's so really crazy how people can be um but you know there is you know the, the situation that is plain and the situation that is happening here be aware of what you do some of you are in love with this queen of swords um but there is there is something else because you're thinking about there is a ring so it's a connection that you guys have with this there is going to be a celebration so some people could be going to a wedding also um some people could be asking this key queen of swords to be their partner and that sort of a thing because obviously um there is a situation that is playing out but whatever it is i'm wishing you a wonderful time and you know <laughs> life has its journey be careful of what you do there's karma and i want to say to you pisces be careful be careful what you dish out because you might get it back. Um, I'm wishing you a wonderful week because you had the most positive, positive weeks. Uh, wonderful things are going to happen for you. Wonderful new beginnings are going to happen for you. So um, I'm wishing you a very positive. Remember to like, share these videos. This is the most positive reading so far. And I'm wishing you a wonderful um, situation in your life. Namaste until next time. Thank you.